Hello and welcome to Optin Monster. In this video, we'll teach you how to use actions for success view and more. An element action allows you to configure what happens when an element is triggered, such as a button being clicked or a form submitted. Actions can include showing a view. In this example, the full screen opt-in is showing a yes, no view, which successfully brings you to the opt-in view, which later brings you to the success view. Another element action is closing the campaign. In this example, when the form is submitted, the campaign is simply closed. Similarly, you can choose to close the campaign and refresh the page. Another element action is to redirect to our URL. In this example, clicking on the image campaign brings you to a different collection on the website. And finally, clicking on buttons can allow you to open a new window. As you can see here, when you click the Let's Go Shopping button, it brings you to a new window. So how can we set an element action? It's as simple as a click of a button. Simply go to your Optin Monster drag and drop builder and click on the element that you'd like to change, such as a button within the yes, no view. Click on the button to establish the element action. Once you've clicked on the button, go to the action tab. Here, when you scroll down under button click action, you can see that the options are to go to a view, redirect to URL, click to call, close the campaign, reload the page, and open in a new window. If you'd like to go to the opt-in view, you'd select go to a view and under go to, you'd select the opt-in view. Simply follow this procedure for any element action that you'd like to establish. And that's how to use actions for the success view and more. If you have any questions, please look through our helpful documentation. And for further assistance, you can always submit a support ticket and we'll be more than happy to help.